Hey everyone, this is Craig and this is a video on some tools and ideas for engagement on your platform. So things that you can put on your platform to make it more engaging and purposeful and useful. Um, so some guiding principles, because I don't want to waste any time. One, just make sure that it's purposeful. If you're putting it on there, make sure it has a clear intention. It's not just some frivolous thing that looked cool on Pinterest or something like that. Two, keep design elements in mind when you're making putting this stuff in here okay you don't want to make people scroll or confuse them or make it hard to follow and three if you can try and make it work for you that's going to pertain particularly to the assessment piece um, if you can get assessments on your page or get survey uh, surveys on there for people to respond to then you can keep that data and have it work for you rather than having to do all of that collection yourself so I'm going to jump right into it here um, first thing I wanted to show is embedding stuff and adding images. So I just wanted to show the embed code and how that works, um, especially in Weebly. And it works similarly in whatever other tool you want. So let's say I wanted to embed Quizlet into my course. So I have these vocab words and I want my students to practice with that. So the first thing I need to do is find the embed code. So I want it to appear on my web page and have people be able to interact with it directly on that page. So somewhere on whatever tool you're using, there could be an embed code. So this is true for YouTube um, and for many other tools out there. It's more and more common for them to have this. In this case, in Quizlet, a place where you can make your flashcards or study cards, go to More Tools, Embed, and then you just need to copy and paste one of these embed codes. All right. Then when you go back to your tool you need to find an option that says either embed code in Weebly or in most tools it will say HTML. Um, so if you switch to that HTML mode or in this case embed code and Weebly I can just drag it over then you can paste your code right there and then once you switch back to normal mode, it will embed that on your page. And I like Quizlet quite a bit because it's pretty simple. I can flip my cards, but I can also choose different modes and audio. And I can choose stuff like I can choose Space Race, where I can start playing and I have to type in the form of the word and try to get um, all of the words. So a lot of fun stuff that can happen and that's pretty much how you embed. You can see that it looks okay on my page but I might want to add a title here um, to make that make a little more sense. So I could say practice your words here. Alright, so that way people can see a little bit more about what they're supposed to do. Alright, so that's embedding. The next thing I wanted to look at is screen recording. Recording your lessons so that people can see them when they're not there. And they can pause them and go at their own pace and access them at any time. One of my favorite tools for this is Screencast-O-Matic because it's web-based, it's free, um, it doesn't require an account if you just want the file, um, and you can do up to 15 minutes. So. I recommend creating an account. It's pretty simple so that you can just share the link directly from Screencast-O-Matic. And this is basically how it works. So uh, when I'm ready to record my screen, I can push start recording. And then I'll just set my recording screen for what I want to record. So anything in this window here will be recorded along with my microphone. And I would just choose what mic I want to use. I do recommend a headset for cleaner audio. If you use the microphone in your laptop, it can get pretty scratchy quick. So once I hit record, then everything in this window is being recorded. So if I go between different tabs, then it's recording that. So I could demonstrate how to solve a math problem or analyze a primary document. You know, a lot of different things that I could do. And whenever I want to pause and catch my breath, I can, um, or just click done, and then I can choose from these options for what to do with it. And then once I have it saved in Screencast-O-Matic, YouTube, or on file, then I can post it on my site, 
um, as a way for people to find it. So in the course, there is a resource about flipped learning. Um, recording your stuff is a part of the flipped learning process, but you can access that resource for more about flipped learning. I don't want to spend this video time doing that. There's a lot of good stuff in there. <clears throat> I did want to look a little bit at online assessment options because that is one way to make your website or web presence work for you. So if you can put like a Google form on your site, have students take that, that gives you data that you can respond to um, and that you would have to mess with a lot less than what you would in a paper version. So I just wanted to show uh, Google form because it's probably the easiest one. These are all very good options that you can explore but if you have a Google account already, then maybe a Google Form would work well for you. If I wanted to create a Google Form, then I would just go to my Google Drive, create a form, and then I'm just going to show you one that I have made already so that we don't have to go through that whole process. So iPad use, I can add a variety of items. I can put in video and images, so if I wanted to have them watch a video and then have them answer questions about the video, I could do that. But once I have done that, I can click View Live Form, and then this is what the students will see. So I can uh, copy this link and put that back on my site if I wanted to. You can see I did that here, complete this Google Form when finished, and if I wanted to, there is a way to embed these forms. Um, if you click on the send form and then embed, you can embed that right on your page and they would take it right from that page. So, again, for the sake of time, I'm not going to go into any more detail, but that just gives you an idea of what is possible. And when I look at the results of that, <clears throat> I can see my responses. It all comes in a spreadsheet, and then I can see um, who has done what. I could ask for their name. I could sort and respond to this from this page. So a lot of possibilities, a lot of cool stuff you can do, um, and hopefully this gives you some ideas about what you can do for yours. So thanks for listening.